The end. That is a funny word, isn't it? What does it actually signify? Audrey here. When we last spoke, we said that it was the end. But it was really the start. The start of the end and the start of a certain someone's downfall. Like I said before, who is going to be next? What if I said it was all of them? Then you would wonder, am I really who I say I am? Can you trust anyone that you heard last time? Well, any time will tell and I can't make up your mind for you. But we are about to go darker, deeper into a series of events that spiral out of control, that left me here, HMP Broadhill. Why am I here? Well, that is a good question. But is HMP what you think it is? Am I truly here? Am I actually to be believed? This is my story. This is my sequel. My bloody sequel. Well, I guess you're wondering where that kind-hearted and well-mannered narrator is from the first instalment. Well, he is currently lying on the floor in front of me having a sleep. I say sleep. More of a prolonged sleep where he has stopped breathing. I will be assuming the role of the narrator for this instalment. It will be easier that way. Now, where was I? Oh yes, so what really did happen after those atrocities were committed by little old me? Oh, bear with me, I'll be right back. We're going to have to cut this short. My friend and main confidant, Charles Langrave, is here. And as a top military agent, he has me sworn to secrecy. Actually, what harm could I do by letting you all listen in? Stay there and listen. It's so very good to see you again, Audrey. It's been a while, hasn't it? A number of years, Charles. A number of years. Indeed, but no time for sentiment. Do you have it for me? Of course I do. It's here, in this package. Give me your package then, Charles. Hang on. Uh, let me just get it. Uh, 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 here it is. Is that it? It's the only information I could find. I'm afraid there's just not that much out there anymore. Everyone is trying to keep a low profile. And why do you think that is, Charles? Uh, uh, I couldn't possibly say. Don't test me, Charles. Just spit it out, you buffoon. Well, sources are saying it's you, Audrey. They're keeping a low profile to stay away from you. Well, uh, I am shocked by that. Don't be alarmed. Open the package. I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. Ah, that is what I was after. Captain Tanner to set sail again on the notorious HMS Farce, setting sail on September 17th, 2019. A year after. How convenient. Jump on board at... That's where it falls short, I'm afraid. There isn't any trace of this article anywhere. It simply disappeared and vanished off the face of the earth. Well, Charles, it may have vanished, but I know the time. I always know what Captain Tanner is up to. How do you mean? I get these senses and premonitions. I know what they would do and when they would do it. It is sailing the same day of the year as last time, so it's probably sailing the same time. That would make sense. Anyway... I'd better be off. People to guard and all. Oh, leave off it, Charles. You've been retired for 20 years. As I said, off I go. Actually, Charles, before you go, there was one small thing that I thought you could help me with. Like I said, Audrey, there is no more information as to the whereabouts of James and Emma Harrington, either. It isn't that, Charles. I just thought we could team up, like we did in the old days. We did have some fun, didn't we? Yes, we did. And that is why I'd like us to re-embark upon that special relationship we had. Audrey, we swore the oath not to act in that capacity again. How are they going to know, Charles? How could they possibly know? Someone will always say something. We have been pardoned. 
disgraced. Even more reason to get back together. Well, uh... You in? I'm going to really regret this, aren't I? I could not possibly comment at all. So, what's the big plan then? Well, it involves you getting on a big ship and stealing their thunder. Oh, Audrey, I, I don't know. I don't think I have it in me anymore. Of course you do. Now, Charles, do as I say, or it'll be curtains for you. I have recorded this whole meeting, and everyone can hear you. There is no way out for you now, is there? Good, Charles, good. Silence is key here. Now, I will be watching your every move. Take this earpiece, pop it in, make sure the volume is turned up. Just say that it is your hearing aid or something. <laughs> They're all so stupid, they'll believe you. <laughs> make sure the gun is loaded and that you have some of that crushed powder. That is, to make sure there is no trace left. I will be in your ear. Don't you dare put one foot wrong. I tried and failed, but I will not accept failure from you. Got it? Yes. I'll be on my way. Take care. Bye. <laughs> that is it. That is the plan hatched. And yes, I let you hear every detail of it. Why? Because it is the evidence I need. HMS Fast won't be getting very far this time. None of the others will either. Call me loopy. Call me crazy. But we all know I am right here. You cannot stand those insufferable people as well as me. Well, it is time, me, you, and Charles to get to action then. Tomorrow is another day, and it will be a great day. A great day for some bloody revenge. The HMS farce will be mine, and no one can stop me. September 17th, 2019. The day that HMS Farce is to set sail. I'll be listening in. Let's see how it unfolds. James and Emma, it's so good to see you again. I trust that you have been laying low this past year. It has been a hard year, Captain. We really haven't got back to normal yet. He still thinks it was me. James, that is preposterous. It was Audrey. She admitted it. It just doesn't feel like it's over, you know? It, like there's someone waiting to pull the trigger. It feels like we're all trapped in this vicious story, like a murder mystery that is being played out right before our very eyes. That is preposterous. But saying that, I have not been able to relax at all since we last sailed. However, this time I have got some precautions in order to ensure we set sail. Oh, that is is a relief. What are they then? Well, um, uh, we have top of the range CCTV cameras, uh, less passengers, and no Audrey. Do you really think a few pathetic little cameras are going to stop a murderer like Audrey from coming aboard? It is pathetic. Emma, remember what I said last year. Don't be so condescending. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. Jeremy Weeks is dead. Or Audrey saw to that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we have some on-ship security. Oh, that is fantastic, Captain Teller. Thank you. And I think I can see him now. Yes, he doesn't seem to be gaining speed at all. How old is he, Captain Tanner? Charles Langrove and I go a long way back. Oh, he was so loyal to me back then. I said, how old is he? What you need to realise is that he is here to protect us, and protect us he shall. He is ex-military. How old is he, Captain Tanner? He is a little over 70, but special guards like Charles Langrove never lose it. They might not lose it, but they might not remember what it is. He does look very frail. James, be assured that Charles Langrove is more than capable of looking after us on this ship. He used to guard it for years. So he would know Audrey then? Not in the slightest, Emma. Of course, he wouldn't know who that is. Come to think of it, we should all forget that disgraceful woman. Captain Tanner, sir, 
It's an honour. Likewise, Charles. I would like you to meet my executive team, James and Emma. How do you do? Very nice to meet you. Now, Charles, I was just giving Emma and James the rundown of what we have done to lock down the ship. There's a lockdown on the ship? Where did I put my gun? At ease, Charles. I said we have had to lock down the ship, as we have had a few unfortunate deaths on board last year. Well, sir, with me on board, there is no chance anyone will be able to commit such a crime. I will be disciplined, and more importantly, I will be ready. Now, please excuse me. I would like to get acquainted with my room. As you were, cheery bye. Really, Captain? Is that the best you could have come up with? Hardly an SAS agent, is he? He can barely move. How on earth do we expect him to look after us? As I said, James, once you have got it, you never lose it. I'm not sure he had it anyway to start with. This whole idea is preposterous. I want out. Me too. May I remind you both that you are actually contractually obliged to the ship and to me. You will not be going anywhere, even the notion of it. I will not be tolerating any of your shit as I did last year. My eyes are focused on the sea ahead and not, I repeat not, your petty stories. Now, get to work, the pair of you. Go on, go. Ah, Captain Tanner has not changed, has he? Still shouting when he is in a losing battle. He just doesn't know how much he is about to lose. Now, I wonder if Charles has his hearing aid in. Charles, can you hear me? I said, Charles Langrove, can you hear me? Who's that? What's that in my ear? It's Audrey. Hello, Audrey. I am aboard the ship and ready to go. Keep your voice down, you fool. Don't give the game away this early. They'll be on to you otherwise. Uh, 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 Julie noted, as you were, shh, someone's coming. Ah, Charles, you okay? Settling in well? Yes, all well, thank you. What's that in your ear, Charles? You didn't have that in earlier. It's my new hearing aid. It helps me to hear. An aid for my hearing, if you will. <laughs> well, I never. They're making them so different all the time. Modern technology, eh? Yes, sir. Gadgets and gizmos. Won't get used to them, sir. <laughs> well, if all is well, Charles, I will see you later. No, oh, is that the time? We'd better be off sailing. Charles, I need you in the lobby in 15 minutes. Duly noted, sir. Oh, and Charles, if you happen to see James or Emma, uh, please don't mention that you know Audrey. It will set them off and... We'll have more murders on our hands. Of course, sir. No Audrey here. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. I can always depend on you. And you. Close the door on the way out. Thank you. Has he gone, Charles? Yes, he's gone. It's too busy, Audrey. Someone is bound to know what I'm up to. They're going to hear or something. Don't be stupid. Think positively. And remember, I am always in your ear. Julie noted. Uh, now, let me get ready. Whilst we leave Charles to get ready, let me enlighten you as to what me and Charles have previously agreed. He has agreed to take the ship down with no survivors. I will then make them all pay for what they did to me. They had taken my ship, but they could never take me. And I am not going down without a fight. Audrey! Are you there? Audrey? Yes, Charles. I think someone heard me and the captain talking. What is worse, I think they heard us talking. Me and you. Who's heard what, Charles? How did you get in here? The door was locked by Captain Tanner. I've been outside this whole time, Charles. I've heard every word you said. Uh, uh, to who? To Captain Tanner. Oh, that was nothing. Just some old friends talking, chewing the fat, you know. Chewing the fat over old acquaintances, were we? Mr. Harrington, I have not got the slightest clue what you are accusing me of. But 
You will have to excuse me. It's time to start my shift. I need to leave. Oh, hi, Charles. Move. Charming. James, what was wrong with him? I don't know, Emma, but something very suspicious is going on today. I know. I've had this bad feeling. I haven't felt it this bad since that day a year ago. What did you hear? Well, I can't be sure, but I heard Captain Tanner talking to Charles. I guess they were just catching up as old friends do. Yes, but old friends don't try and cover something up, do they? Mm, you have lost me, James. I do not follow. Well, when I was outside, I overheard Captain Tanner saying that Charles had some new technology in his ear. James, seriously, it is a hearing aid. People of Charles's age always wear them. But that's the thing. I heard a voice come out of it as soon as Captain Tanner left, and when I went into the room to confront him, it was silent again. James, it is a hearing aid. Stop overthinking it, will you? Well, if you think so. I will drop it, but I have my suspicions. But Captain Tanner is hiding yet another secret from us. As usual, the slimy git. It turns out, in fact, that both he and Charles know Audrey. Well, I never. The lying little pig. Captain Tanner told Charles to keep silent to us about knowing Audrey, and that it would create more murders. But why would Captain Tanner say that when he knows what happened on this very ship on his watch? I don't know, but keep an eye on Charles, Emma. He is tricky. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to stick together this time. In the meantime, do not let Charles give you anything to drink or eat. Be careful. Come on, let's get out of here and to work. Drats! They are sniffing Charles out already. I knew I couldn't trust him at all. Looks like I'm going to have to take matters into my own hands again. I knew this would happen. I will leave you here, unsure of my return, as I need to sort out Charles on my own. I will leave you as Captain Tanner starts to welcome his guests aboard the ship. Good to see you. How are you doing? Oh no, we have tip-top security this year. Have you met my executive team of James and Emma Harrington? Nice to meet you. Enjoy the voyage. Well, let's hope there's no murders. What has gotten into her, James? I think it was my fault, Captain. I may have wound her up a little... Oh, well, nothing we can do about that. James, is it me, or are some of these guests looking remarkably like Audrey? No, I see it too. I even thought I saw her just a minute ago under that big hat. It obviously wasn't, though, as she is locked away for a very long time. Hmm, now you've got me thinking. Charles, can you come here, please? Charles, can you come here, please? He's gone, Captain. He was just there. Uh, maybe he's helping inside. Come on, let's take a look. Captain, I have got that bad feeling again. It's probably just nerves, James. Can you see Charles anywhere? You can hardly miss him. He's a man-mountain. It is really hard to see through the groups of people, Captain. <gasps> there he is. He's on the floor. He's probably wrestled someone to the ground. Oh, lovely Charles. Charles, I trust everything is okay. I tried, Captain Tanner. I really did. But it was too late. I was too late. I am so sorry. Charles, what are you saying sorry for? What's that on your hands? I am sorry, James. Charles, tell me what is on your hands. And what is under that sheet? It's... it's your sister, James. Oh, murder! You murderer! Did Audrey put you up to this, did she? I... I am sorry, James. I tried to save her, but the blood was everywhere. I was too late. Any excuse isn't from you. James, stay cool. Charles doesn't know who Audrey is. Liars. You are all liars. He does know, and I know, and I know you have silenced him. I heard you with my very own ears. Well, uh, yes. Uh... Captain, I am too long in the tooth for this. Okay, James, you win. See, I told you, born liars, the both of them. I if you could just let me finish. That 
sounds the panic alarm. Only I could raise that alarm. I am the captain, after all. A lying captain? James, that isn't helpful. No, it, it, it can't be. Surely not. Oh, God, no. I have to go. Now, I could just pause this story right here, as it has come to a natural end. However, do you remember what I said at the very start? That this was just the beginning of the end. Captain Tanner was right. He was the only captain on the ship. Or was he? Here he comes. Where is that alarm panel? Oh, blast! What is the code? Come on, Tanner, what is it? 1709-1996. You. I knew it was you. As soon as I heard the alarm, I knew that you were behind it. Oh, well done. You are so smart, aren't you? Of course it was me. This is my ship, after all. I haven't a clue what you're on about, Audrey. But these games need to stop. I thought you went away to HMP Broadhill. That's what they told us. Like you say, Captain, that is what they told you. My whereabouts and sanction were unknown. How? How on earth? See, when you are as old as me, you know people. You build up these connections, networks of people, small people who will always help you out in your time of need. No one, and I mean no one, would be stupid enough to even consider helping you, especially if they knew the real you. Well, that is just the thing. They do know me, don't they, Charles? Yes. Regrettably, yes. Oh, he doesn't mean that. He is my confidant. He has helped me to get here, and he will help me get my ship back. Oh, yes. You see, there is just one tiny little problem with your old-aged pensioner's grand scheme. The ship is mine, and not yours, and therefore there is nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah? Charles, pass me the package. Uh, certainly. Charles. Ch Charles, the package. It would appear that I have lost it. Oh, useless you are. Looking for this? James, where did you get that gun from? And stop spinning it around like that. That's my gun. Uh, that is my gun? Well, it would appear, actually, it is my gun. Now, which of you killed my gun? Sister. Don't you even look at me. I've only just got here. Don't look at me. I tried to help. Well, I was with you, James. It couldn't have been me. One of us has done this. One of us killed Emma Harrington. Why does it have to be one of us? Why couldn't it be one of our guests? There are plenty of those. Just look around. Look how many people there are. Thousands. There are literally thousands aboard this ship. I hate to admit it, but Charles is right, James. Well, yes, but if that is the case, why is Audrey making a dash for it? Not this time. Fire! Oh, fuck. The power is out. Here, James, take this torch. Audrey's gone. You shot her, James. She was close to the edge of the ship when the lights blew, and it must have startled you, and you took a shot. You must have killed her, and she fell overboard. Don't be daft. I didn't even pull the trigger. Look, it's empty. There is no ammunition in its charts. Well, I'm baffled then. It certainly sounded like a gunshot. Charles, do remember the lights blew out? Oh, uh, yes. You two, come here. Now! Peer over the edge and look into the sea. What is it? See that? She's gone. It's done. She will never bother us again.